Marvel have just revealed some of the biggest things at CinemaCon and the footage for Deadpool 3 is straight up insane. It may even be the best film of the year surpassing perhaps even Dune 2. The panel started off with a video of Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds in their respective costume telling the audience to be quiet and turn off their phones during the presentation. We hear Deadpool say, so I hear in Secret Wars they're finally gonna introduce, but he's cut off by a phone ringing and then Wolverine starts swearing at the audience telling us to switch off our phones and Deadpool starts flirting with Wolverine. And they both collectively ask you to subscribe to join the Neo Nerds community and you can keep updated with every new video that comes out. They then start the presentation off by talking about the Thunderbolts and the new title for the Thunderbolts is Thunderbolts, but with an asterisk, which will be explained after the movie comes out. My guess is that Val is the one running the team under Thunderbolt Ross's name, hence there's an asterisk, as he may even be the villain. But we also got a video message from Florence pew, pew. herself, wishing the audience, and honestly, I didn't care for this movie, but after hearing about the Captain America 4 footage, I might actually be slightly excited. Before showing the footage about Captain America Brave New World, Kevin Feige talked about the Winter Soldier still being considered one of the best MCU movies, although I think otherwise, because of how much of a simple and grander story it is without featuring aliens or time travel or even the multiverse and this film is going to be a similar political thriller like that and from the footage they showed i'm somewhat excited for this film but then again the two minutes for secret invasion also did seem amazingly good and we all know how that turned out thinking about the plot holes linked to scrody still sends shivers down my spine anyways the footage shows sam wilson talking to harrison ford's thunderbolt ross the latter asking sam to lead the avengers once again and sam questions him about whether he would interfere with their affairs again which Ross replies, just do your job, you're not Steve Rogers. And Sam clamps back saying, I'm not trying to be. Joaquin Torres is also in this footage as Falcon and Isaiah Bradley pulls up and is possessed, a lot like the Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes after saying the special words. He's straight up causing chaos, he fights Sam, shoots world leaders, and it is very likely he might be under the influence of the leader, who we also know is in the movie. This does look insane and we can see the tension between the two right off the bat, which is something I didn't expect even though they were in the movie. Now before I cover the insane Deadpool 3 footage, I just want to talk about some of the other smaller things they mentioned. Kevin Feige dropped his first F-bomb at CinemaCon, which was unexpected. They also mentioned that the popcorn buckets for Deadpool and Wolverine were designed by Deadpool and are probably going to be very unique and might cause some competition for the Dune popcorn buckets. And lastly, he just confirmed the Fantastic Four cast and release date, but he also did say he was excited for the movie. For Deadpool 3, they showed 9 minutes of exclusive footage just for the people who attended, and it mainly showed Wade's birthday party, and he's working at a car dealership with Peter from Deadpool 2, and it seems as though he's going through a midlife crisis go check out this video on why Deadpool has hair it is linked to this and he's also broken up with Vanessa which is quite sad considering the entirety of Deadpool 2 was him trying to get her back he then talks to all of his fellow comrades at the birthday party and he talks to Blind Owl about some unknown white substance that rhymes it broke but Feige won't allow it the TVA then kidnap him similar to what we saw in the Super Bowl trailer and Agent Paradox shows him footage of past MCU moments but is also extended beyond what we saw in the teaser trailer it also shows Deadpool clips of his past, present and future, possible future at least, a lot like what they did with Loki, except this time it shows Thor crying over Deadpool's body. And then we hear Paradox say that this might happen in the future, hinting at what will happen later on in the movie or even in Secret Wars, which is just crazy. And then Paradox tells Deadpool that he has been recruited to save the Marvel multiverse and then he breaks the fourth wall multiple times and then we get the line, I am. Deadpool then suits up with the assistance of his tailor, we, and then we find out that his swords are made of adamantium, and then we see footage of Deadpool and Wolverine in the car, and we get a bunch more footage of just fights that we saw in the trailer, but my hype for this film is through the roof. Speaking of hype, if you are hyped, check out this video where I explain which Wolverine variant we are seeing in Deadpool and Wolverine.